Busiest times of the year for flower shops. Valentine's Day is a week from today, and one business says they're nearly at capacity for flower deliveries. Max Rodriguez reports. Valentine's Day is just a week away, and many are already planning on spending time with that special someone. This will be the 45th Valentine's Day together for Linda and Merv. The couple still holding hands while taking a stroll at the park. Six kids later, <laughs> 20 grandkids. It's good. We Life feel is good. blessed. Like many couples do, their Valentine's Day plans will consist of dinner at their favorite restaurant. But for those looking to show their affection with flowers, Watanabe Floral says inventory is in better shape than it's been in the past two years of the pandemic. It looks like the supply, at least where Watanabe Floral is concerned, um, is, is going to be okay. There are certain things that are going to be missing, but I think as long as you have the main item, which for Valentine's Day, as we all know, are roses, um, I think you're going to be safe. Pereira says despite the cost of flowers and transportation going up, they will stick to last year's prices for long red roses. Sweet treats are another hot ticket item. The owner of Sweet Revenge says strawberry pies, mochi, and candied bacon roses are among her best sellers, but says supply chain delays are still an issue. They try to plan ahead as best as possible. We worry about things like fresh strawberries. You can't buy way ahead of time. So, you know, we've got our fingers crossed. I bought a ton of them. And if it's not enough, we fingers crossed, we're going to have to find some somewhere. Meanwhile, Pereira says they are close to hitting their capacity of 800 deliveries for February 14. He says don't let plans for Sunday's big game get in the way. What's going to happen is the 14th on Monday is going to be completely frenetic because guys aren't going to remember until they wake up on Monday that it's Valentine's Day. Max Rodriguez, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.